the Battle of Pydna. Fought in 168 BC during the Third Macedonian War, marked a significant moment in history. This epic tale of strategy and might is brought to you by War Thunder, this episode's sponsor. It was a clash between Rome and Macedon, resulting in Rome's increased dominance in the Hellenistic world and the fall of the Antigonid dynasty, which originated from Alexander the Great. This battle is particularly noted for showcasing the superiority of the Roman legion's flexible, manipular system over the more rigid phalanx formation employed by the Macedonians. The Third Macedonian War, which commenced in 171 BC, was sparked by the actions of King Perseus of Macedon ultimately leading to Rome's declaration of war. Initially, Rome secured a series of minor victories, partially attributed to Perseus's failure to unify his forces effectively. However, by the end of the year, Perseus turned the tide, winning at the Battle of Callinicus and recovering losses, including the religious city of Dion. Subsequently, he fortified his position along the Elpius River in northeastern Greece, establishing a strong defensive stance. The following year saw a shift in Roman leadership, with command being assumed by Lucius Aemilius Paulus, a seasoned and experienced soldier. Paulus reorganized his troops and Contrary to Perseus's expectation of an attack from the south, the Romans strategically advanced from the west. Perseus positioned his army near Caterini, south of Pydna on a plane favourable for his phalanx. Perseus took command of the right flank's heavy cavalry, leading the charge with his elite sacred squadron. The battle commenced on June 22nd, possibly triggered by a Roman strategy involving an unbridled horse or an altercation between Roman foragers and Thracian soldiers in Perseus's army. A skirmish broke out between the light infantry forces of Rome and Macedonia. At the outset, the Romans achieved success in their offensive against the Macedonian light infantry. Observing his light infantry faltering, Perseus responded with a decisive move, ordering an all-out assault.
As the light infantry pull back to their supporting positions on the Macedonian flanks, the phalanx steadily progresses, advancing toward the Roman lines. The Roman Velites, facing the formidable pike wall of the phalanx, found themselves outmatched and were swiftly scattered. Today's episode is brought to you by War Thunder, acclaimed as the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Available now free on PC and consoles, War Thunder invites you to take command over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships from 10 major nations. From the biplanes and armoured cars of the 1920s to the modern-day fighter jets and main battle tanks, War Thunder offers an unparalleled range of vehicles. Immerse yourself in the intense combat of War Thunder with the incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics and authentic sound effects place you right at the helm of the most powerful war machines of our time. This isn't just a game of hit points. War Thunder boasts one of the most sophisticated vehicle damage models in gaming. This is my favourite feature. Each vehicle is modelled down to its individual components, like engines, fuel tanks, weapons and crew, all susceptible to damage or disabling from enemy fire, with armour, shells and missiles behaving just like their real-world counterparts. When destruction occurs, War Thunder's impressive damage x-ray view comes into play, showing precisely where the shell penetrated, which components were affected, and what ultimately led to the destruction of the vehicle. The game also features an in-depth customization system, allowing for countless camouflages, historical markings, and decorations for all types of vehicles, including community-created designs. Powered by the Dager engine, War Thunder is heavily optimized to deliver a lag-free experience with immersive visuals and high frame rates, even on lower-end machines. Join a worldwide community of over 70 million players in epic PvP battles today and delve into the breathtaking experience that is War Thunder. Before we wrap up, I've got some exciting news for all the War Thunder fans and newcomers. Play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation or Xbox and make sure to use my link in the pinned comment or video description. For new and returning players who haven't played in the last six months, there's a massive bonus pack waiting for you across all platforms. This bonus pack includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Leons and 7 days of premium accounts. But wait, there's more. To celebrate the winter holidays and usher in the new year 2024, all players can claim three exclusive festive decals based on the Gaijin Snail, the Snail Elf, Snail Rudolph and Snail Grinch. These are perfect for adding some holiday cheer to your vehicles. Remember, these offers are available for a limited time only, so don't miss out. What are you waiting for? Get into the action with War Thunder. Available for free on PC, PlayStation or Xbox. Using my link in the pinned comments or video description to sign up and claim your massive bonus pack along with the festive snail decals. Let's make 2024 a year of epic battles and festive fun in War Thunder. Play now. Paulus ultimately decides to confront the Macedonian phalanx head on. The Roman army fielded between 28,600 and 37,000 men, with the infantry components ranging from 22,000 to 34,000 soldiers. The cavalry forces on both sides were nearly matched in strength, with up to 4,000 Macedonian and Thracians facing off against approximately 3,400 Romans and their allied cavalry units. The Roman forces strategically positioned their legions in the center, with their cavalry deployed on the wings. This formation was further bolstered by the inclusion of 22 elephants, enhancing their combat capabilities. Both armies arrayed themselves in their respective traditional battle formations, preparing for the impending clash. The Macedonian army comprised 43,000 soldiers, of which over 20,000 were phalangites. The Macedonian center was held by their formidable phalanx, flanked by a diverse force including 3,000 guards peltasts, mercenaries, Thracian infantry and cavalry, potentially positioned on both flanks. The phalanx methodically ascends the hill, concentrating its efforts on the Roman center. Units, hurry, hurry! 
Simultaneously, Paulus commands his right flank to engage in an attack against the Macedonians. The elephants take the lead in the assault, their massive presence bolstered by the Roman forces. They are ably supported by the swift and agile Roman cavalry, creating a powerful combined attack. After the initial clash, the Macedonian light infantry was crushed and only the cavalry remained to stop the onslaught. Meanwhile, the phalanx lines are pushing towards the Roman center in the rough terrain. The menacing Macedonians push through in the uneven terrain, making contact with the Roman legionnaires. On the Roman right flank, the weary Macedonian cavalry teeters on the brink of collapse, poised to break imminently under the relentless pressure. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the battlefield, the Macedonian left cavalry shattered prompting the Romans to swiftly engage in a relentless pursuit. Paulus bides his time, watching for openings in the enemy's phalanx formation. Upon spotting any gaps, he strategically commanded a select number of maniples to swiftly exploit these vulnerabilities. The Roman infantry, poised and ready, prepares to launch an assault through the breaches formed by the phalanx's challenging push through the rugged terrain. With the cavalry support diminished, Paulus masterfully maneuvers to flank the Macedonian phalanx, inflicting significant casualties in a strategic stroke of military prowess.
As the phalanx continues to press against the Roman infantry, more gaps emerge within their formation, leading to a noticeable wavering in the Macedonian center's resolve and structure. Seizing the opportunity presented by the unfolding situation, Paulus issues a decisive order for the Roman left wing to join the attack, intensifying the assault. The Roman advance is abruptly halted as they encounter the formidable resistance of the Macedonian heavy cavalry, bolstered by the elite and renowned sacred squadron under Perseus' command. As the battle rages on, segments of the Macedonian center, having suffered heavy losses, begin to retreat from the battlefield. Despite this setback, the core of the Macedonian army remains steadfast and continues to hold its ground. The decisive blow, the coup de grace, is masterfully delivered by the returning elephants and cavalry from the Roman right wing, tipping the scales of the battle definitively in Rome's favour. The sudden and overwhelming attack from the Roman elephants and cavalry sends a shockwave of despair through the Macedonian ranks. Witnessing this turn of events, Perseus, along with his remaining cavalry, make a hasty retreat from the battlefield, signaling a clear shift in the tide of the conflict. As the battle draws to a close, the remaining Macedonian infantry, now isolated and overwhelmed, find themselves in search. They are methodically rounded up and cut down, one by one, sealing the fate of the Macedonian resistance. The engagement resulted in nearly 11,000 Macedonian prisoners and, as per various sources, up to 20,000 fatalities. The battle lasted about an hour, followed by a prolonged and bloody pursuit into the night. The Battle of Pydna, although not the final clash between Rome and Macedon, critically weakened Macedonian power and signaled the end of its independence, with formal annexation by Rome occurring later. Perseus, the Macedonian king, surrendered to the Roman commander Paulus and was paraded in chains in Rome before being imprisoned. Following the battle, the Macedonian kingdom was dismantled, replaced by four republics with strict limitations on interaction and trade. In 167 BC, as a repercussion of the Epirates League's support for Perseus, 
Paulus was instructed to attack Epirus, resulting in the enslavement of 150,000 Epirates and the destruction of 70 cities. Shout out to War Thunder again for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation or Xbox and use my link in the pinned comment or video description to register. Those of you who are new or haven't played for 6 months will also receive a massive bonus pack across all platforms, including multiple premium vehicles, in-game currency and more.